Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Island Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team, and this round we're talking about fly rods we like. <clears throat> so, uh, let's see, it's uh, Tuesday, February, February 11th, and let's talk about some fly rods. So, uh, there's two in particular, and when we're talking about fly rods, we're talking um, really if, if we're going to do some trout fishing, um, maybe hit a pond or two in the area. Uh, and this is North Texas, specifically DFW area, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, um, in particular the city of Allen. Um, <clears throat> we will typically uh, fish ponds, uh, rivers, be it up in Oklahoma, uh, further down south in Texas, and every once in a while make that occasional trip down to the coast and um, try doing some fly fishing there. And what we find is uh, a pretty good setup if I'm um, given just one rod and this is all we've got. Um, there's two in particular that we want to talk about this round. And first one is a five weight. It's the Reddington Classic Trout Fly Rod. Nine foot, five weight, uh, four section. And it's kind of a fast action rod. And it comes in four pieces here. And excuse us, we got a little buddy here. Charlie from the field team has to say hello. So, all right, Charlie, say hello to everybody. All right, all right. Okay, so uh, talking about fly rods, this is the classic trout Reddington fly rod. I uh, picked it up, uh, I think, over there at Cabela's when it was on sale uh, on a clearance. We had a gift card and we were able to just pick it up and. Uh, here it is. It's got only one little ring here, but this had not really stopped us with stuff. It's got a little wooden insert. And <clears throat> right on there it says uh, five, line five. Uh, it's the model 9054 nine foot classic trout. And we found that this one is, is a sort of medium fast, a fast action rod. So the tip kind of kind of whips uh, pretty nicely. And we find that uh, it balances well with this Echo Ion uh, 4 5 weight. So that's the one that we used for many years um, for all kinds of stuff. In fact, I think we got some videos of um, the 29 inch striped bass that we used uh, to bring this baby in. So, <coughs> so that's uh, one of the rods that we like, and it's been a, a pretty much a go to one. We've used it for small fish, panfish, as well as trout as well as uh, striped bass. I haven't felt really overgunned or undergunned, uh, well, except for that one time when uh, uh, we did have a bigger striped bass uh, take us to the backing and wrap us around a rock and break us off. So, but that was bigger than 29 inches. So uh, we find that this one has been a very good one for us. We like it, uh, has um, caught many fish and we still have it. Just we kind of keep it off to the side now because, well, We've been using it with, uh, or buying some other rods. So of course, you can't always just have one rod. You always need more and more. Um, <clears throat> talking about the uh, fly reel, this is the Echo Ion 4.5. In particular, is an OPST Skagit head uh, for one-handed spade casting. I think this is like the 300 grain, 300, 325 grain. I'll have to look again. Um, the one thing that uh, uh, we did with this one. This is our first one that we used for um, one-handed spay casting. What that did was allow us to do some, um, not worry too much about your back cast because uh, you really didn't need a back cast to get the line out to where you needed to uh, because of this heavy uh, 300 plus grain uh, head, shooting head, uh, made a big difference for us uh, in, in being able to cast. Um, the only thing is when the, you use that OPST laser line, it's a monofilament running line or shooting line that uh, it tends to get underneath the, the spool here and we have to end up taking it off every once in a while. Actually, at least um, has happened on this one on occasion, but mainly on that 2-3 weight that we've switched over to um, a hydro uh, reel on that 2 uh, weight that we've been using. So just to recap, echo on 4-5 weight on a Reddington Classic Trout 9 foot. Uh, for some reason, that nine foot uh, length uh, seems to be a good, um, good one for us, uh, for our area. 
Um, not been uh, having any issues with having that length. We used to fish shorter rods. I think it was like the eight foot, our old fiberglass ones up there um, were some eight foot ones. Um, but ever since we went to the nines, I've um, really, really been able to make some adjustments and it was give us a little um, uh, leeway if uh, our casting isn't up to par on, on some trips. Okay, so that's the one rod. That's the five weight. So speaking of when we lost the uh, bigger striped bass, took us to the backing. Um, I think because of that, we went to an eight weight. Um, was really happy with that for the longest time for these bigger fish. But then we found that <coughs> the, uh, got a hold of one of these babies. It's the uh, TFO Lefty Cray Pro 2. I think it's like the signature series. This is a six weight, nine foot, four, um, four weight. And uh, this one has uh, two little uh, deals here to lock it in place. So it does really stay tight. It has like a carbon fiber, real cool looking insert here. It's not wood, but uh, it's a pretty cool looking one still. Uh, and this is also a nine weight or nine foot uh, in six weight. So I just bumped it up a, a notch. Uh, and we've been ha really happy with that one. Uh, from a fly line perspective <laughs> or real, for the longest time we were using weight forward fly fly lines, uh, sometimes overlining it. So if it was a six weight, we'd go with a seven uh, weight line. If it was a five weight, we'd go with a six weight line just because of the fast action rod and that extra little ump that you could get with it um, and get a little bit distance there. And then this is the Echo Ion six, seven fly reel. And we have an OPST Skagit head again just like in the five or yeah, the uh, four or five weight uh, fly reel. But the only difference is uh, we went with this, um, it's like a level line running line. It's, it's more like a coated um, monofilament line. And that one we like because it feels just like the running line that you have on a normal uh, fly line. And so with that monofilament running line that was going under the spool here, you have to be very careful It'll tangle on you every once in a while as well as um just you know different feel versus uh one of these um uh coated uh running lines so we've been really happy with that and it's been paired well with the six uh with the six weight tfo uh, and so those are our i guess we call them our go-to fly rods when it came to um one-handed casting we have some other rods um switch rods two-handed rods and whatnot but <clears throat> day in day out uh, we used to keep this one in the car or the little pickup all the time so we were ready to go anytime we were commuting and we saw a nice piece of water that we should stop at we would use this one uh, before that we had that nine foot five weight and then uh, now because we're just kind of mixing it up we've got a, a x catch two weight um 10 foot fly rod where we've coupled it with that hydro cecil one uh, fly reel and in this case we had a way forward to um, floating line uh, we since added the real trout max when it had space gadget head as well um, we were out at Frisco the other day just really liked the feel of how that rod could handle the heavier line uh, didn't feel like the uh, uh, 200 grain shooting head was uh, interfering or, or impeding the catch in fact uh, easily could uh, cast it uh, with, with minimal false casting to where the fish were, uh, be it with a strike indicator or without a strike indicator. So been really happy with that. Uh, so those are our thoughts on fly rods. Uh, recap, uh, really like that classic trout, nine foot, uh, five weight. And really like that nine foot uh, TFO, uh, lift to uh fly rod also. Uh, Echo on fly reel, well, we got the whole line of them. I've uh, been always happy with that, uh, but since we got that deal on the Hydros uh, reel, decided to go in and get that. So, while well, we we're talking fly rods, let's just throw in some fly reels also. We did a, a little product review deal or, or deal on fly reels. We'll go grab you real quick what we have. <coughs> Okay, so 
we're here we like talking fishing it's raining we can't uh, get out there so yes we do like the echo ion there's the two three we now are going to be using this one on the fiberglass cgr uh cabela's fly rod 28 all right then <coughs> excuse me then the four five and this is the one that we'll be using on the classic trout um five weight nine foot uh fly rod and then this is the right here six seven okay this is with the opst skagit head 325 grain uh, that's we're using on the tfo six weight there then we do have an eight weight uh older cabela's um fly rod we picked up i can't remember when uh in the seven nine so it goes with the eight weight and this one's just using a um this one's using uh, i think it's the god i think it's the it's another tr uh, not trout max i think it's another um i think it's the rio rio chucker um, fly line wait forward and then for our um spay casting or not correction spay casting our switch cast um we've got a, a 10 foot uh, six weight cabela's tlr i think it is fly rod switch and we use that with this eight uh 10 echo ion reel and this one has a uh, the lee wolf ambush uh fly line um also for one-handed spay or two-handed spay and this has been a real good one too it's a real good cast with it i think we got a a chat or something came up hey coaf all right hi landrun 89 how you doing uh we're just talking some uh fishing stuff since uh, it's raining and well if it's raining we can't go fishing well, let's talk fishing though uh, so going back to some of the fly reels we were talking about, here's the Echo Ion 1012, all right, and this is one that we use on uh, another Cabela's TLR, but this, hey, this is an eight weight um, reel, and this one's using a, uh, an OPS, not, no, this is another Rio um, uh, Spay line, switch casting line that we've used and been really happy with that one as well. Uh, there is one other one that we keep in our back pocket. Uh, we used to use it a lot more, but then we shifted over to this bigger reel. It's the uh, Lampson Liquid, I think it's the four, Lampson Liquid four. This is another one that we'll put on the uh, switch rod. I think it's the eight weight one we've used before as well. I'm really happy with switch rods. Um, so we're talking fly rods. Uh, we, we've got the six weight, we've got the uh, nine foot six weight TFO, we've got the uh, nine foot five weight um, classic trout, Reddington, been happy with those. Um, I know some folks will, will pay some real big bucks for some of those um, really expensive ones, but I think uh, the most we paid for a fly rod, because we typically pick it on, on sale, is, is um, just under 200 bucks, if not uh, anywhere between as low as 20, 30 bucks, all the way up to 100 bucks. I think someone chatted again. Let's take a look at this. Um, I like the looks of the lamps. And, oh, yes, it, it, it does look really nice. Um, been happy with it. Just uh, been happy with the uh, this big guy also. I mean, it, it holds a lot of line. And this is the Echo Ion 810. And this is Liquid Lampson 4. Right, and uh, you can see... The one just has uh, some lime we have in there. This one's actually spooled. And this one um, is definitely of the two. Let's see if I can get a better deal of it here. You can see one is wider than the other and definitely carries a lot more. So, all right. So those are some of the uh, fly reels that we have. Let's go, let's go back to um, fly rods. So let's go grab uh, those switch rods we mentioned.
Okay. Um, so uh, with the switch rods, these are Cabela's TLR. I don't know if they sell them anymore. Uh, we've got two six weights. They're 11 foot rods. Check again. Yeah, they're 11 foot. So we've got uh, two six weight Cabela's TLR, uh, six weight. And then we have one Cabela's TLR, eight weight. And the reason why we've got these is because they were selling them for some crazy price. I mean, they, they cut the price down. Um, I think it was, uh, in one case, we picked up one for about 59, 69 bucks. All right. Uh, so I uh, do like these a lot. Um, what's nice about them is, is uh, you can cast one-handed, you can cast two-handed, um, you can go traditional, just a two-handed overhand cast and bang, you're getting it way out there. Um, and then other cases, uh, you can tighten it up and just kind of um, cast uh, one-handed as well. Um, the main reason why we got into switch casting was yours truly um, hurt his shoulder. And because we like fishing so much, we're not going to let a hurt shoulder stop us. And so uh, because we saw this on sale and because we just had some other gift cards from, I forget when, I think it was from work, they uh, gave us some gift cards one year, went ahead and purchased uh the whole setup, I think, for the first switch rod we put together came out to just under <coughs> just under three hundred bucks, real line as well as the uh, uh, rod included. Uh, we got lucky. I think a lot of other folks were were paying a lot more. They're really happy with these. Just um, I don't think they sell this anymore. The Cabela's TLR. Right. Uh, main reason why we got the switch rods is hurt hurt shoulder, but there was a way we could still cast uh, without having to lift our elbow above the shoulder because that's where it was hurting and uh that's one of the other rods that we do like um i guess we can talk more on rods it's about 17 plus minutes for those that are on the uh, uh chat deal who just joined uh we're just doing a live stream talking about fly rods I did talk briefly on some uh, fly reels we have as well uh some of the fly rods just discussed was the classic trout nine foot five weight, the TFO six weight, uh, also a nine foot. And then we talked about some Cabela's TLR switch rods, uh, all 11 foot, uh, six weight, as well as eight weight. And some of the reels that we had coupled with them. Um, we do have some, some <coughs> other rods hidden up or up on the wall. These are some fiberglass ones. Uh, let's see, I think we did one video a couple of years ago where we were talking about you really just need to have a good fly line first then you pick up your fly rod then you pick up your fly reel the, unless you do need a good drag for whatever species you're you're fishing for um and in that video what we did was uh bought one of these rods for i think it was 20 bucks and showed that with a good fly line really we could cast i don't think we even brought put a reel on the rod um, it's up there let me see if i can grab it real quick Almost there. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, so we're talking about this rod that we used. Uh, picked it up for 19 bucks. I think it was off of Fish USA, and it's this one. Well, we better break it down. This is a two-piece. And this is, oh, where is it now? Made by Eagle Claw, fish skins, nine foot, <coughs> five weight, two piece. Um, it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy compared to some of these other ones we have. But uh, we got this on Fish USA, paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, on sale clearance or something. Well, what happened there was, 
we were at Academy one year when we first moved back to Texas and picked up this fly rod to replace the fiberglass ones we had. So before this, we had fiberglass rods and then well, we still have them. We just don't use them anymore as much. Uh, and we picked this one up for, I think it was like 29 bucks. Made my Eagle Claw. It's got an IM7 blank and it's called the something Granger Fly XG. And this was a really good rod we liked for many years. Someone just tweeted, or not tweeted, uh, write a comment, let's check it out. Oh, a Texas boy. Uh, yes, we're here in Texas. I am here in Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, let's see. So we had this one for the longest time uh, and then ended up, you know, how the Fural or the connection here, um, I forgot about what. Oh, Oklahoma, cool, Oklahoma. Uh, one of our team members moved up to Oklahoma and has since not fished with us as much anymore. Um, so what happened is, is somehow this piece got loose on us. I think it kind of kind of cracked a little bit. And so we, for the longest time, we were just taking some uh, fly tying, dubbing wax and putting it here. And we were able to still use the rod for the lo longest time. In fact, we could still use it. We just kind of just retired it for now. Uh, but with that little dubbing wax, we were able to, to recoup this one and use this, I, at least for another couple of years. Uh, and then we put it away, went to other rods. And then one day we were saying, okay, what replaced this since they don't sell this anymore? Well, it turned out this is what they replaced it with. It's made by Fenwick also. Set fish skins, paid 20 bucks for it, been happy with it as well. Um, but now we just kind of play around with it and use it as backup or demo rod. Uh, like we said in that one video where we don't have any fly reel on it. Uh, what we did was uh, we just grabbed some line from a uh, fly line and held it down with a rubber band and started fishing with it without a reel and showed that you really uh, should have a, a good fly line, then go to your fly rod, then go to your fly reel, unless you need to have a good fly reel that has a uh, good good drag on it for the species you're going for. But most times we don't even use the uh, reel in the fish, we'll just pull in the line. So, All right, so those are some of the fly rods we have this round. If anyone has any questions, definitely uh, put in a little chat window here while we're here online. Um, if not, just send us some questions, email uh, C O A F C O A F dot weblog at live dot com, or you can add it to a comment to this video, and we'll uh, see if we can answer or take some of those suggestions y'all have, and um, maybe we can uh, show it on YouTube. All right, so uh, all for now, and we'll go ahead and uh, get this one posted, and see if anyone else uh, uh, has any follow on items to bring up. Oh, oh well, wait. Uh, do have to do a reminder tomorrow, 8 p.m. Central. Our plan is to do this uh, live stream is our near dear giveaway. So all I got to do is put a comment into the video or post posted last week. Um, two olive near deer and a ting car fly. Call it the Marilyn Monroe. Uh, all you need is put a comment to put your name in the running and two. I have a U.S. mailing address, and three, have a valid email so we can coordinate the shipping. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Take care, uh, Landrum. And the next time, we'll catch you all later. And good luck and good fishing.